Thatering was a symptom of uh, uh, the trends that were already there and uh, not a cause, uh, in the sense that uh, you could find the uh, trends for Thatcherism even before Thatcher, that is much earlier, uh, because um, it was the globalization, the neoliberal globalization as we can call it, uh, that began at about the mid 60s, early 70s, that set the trends. That is, there was already an informal opening of markets even before Thatcher, uh, and that was because the multinational corporations needed open and liberated markets so that they could expand their activities all over the world. So that's why there was an informal kind of opening of markets even before Thatcher and Reagan, uh, that's why the euro dollar market has been created and uh, various other markets in order to avoid the control of states which at that time in the 60s were strong that is uh, they had a lot of economic power uh, the nation states they had a lot of economic power in order to control uh, uh, the economy uh, so this was against the rising trend of globalization in the sense that multinational corporations needed as much as possible open and liberated markets so that capital could move from area to area, so that they could use the cheapest labor available anywhere in the world, and so on. And at the same time, there was also an ideological uh, pre thatcherite movement. Uh, I remember I was a student at the LSE in the late 60s, and although the governing policy in Britain at that time was strong, social democratic, the Wilson government was in power and so on. We had a number of uh, tutors, uh, some were actually from the University of Chicago and uh, were visiting professors at the LSE at the time, like uh, Harry Johnson, who was a famous economist at the time. And, um, uh, he was a strong supporter of uh, monetarist economics and uh, the Chicago School of Thought as uh, we know it and uh, there were several others as well who were supporting similar views that is that we have to move from a situation where the state controls the economy through the controlling of uh, aggregate demand and controlling the level of income and employment uh, towards a situation where the market would uh, take over would be the main uh, actor, if you like, in economic activity, and the state uh, just playing a supportive role to the market. So uh, the idea was that this way you can achieve the maximum efficiency. Efficiency, as you know, uh, is the uh, motive of uh, all kinds of orthodox economics, that uh, we have to secure the highest efficiency, and therefore uh, this is how we can achieve the best economic growth, and uh, to achieve all these uh, goodies, the idea was that we have to minimize the role of the state and maximize the role of the market, the role of private initiative as against the state. And at the same time, as regards social movements, after the defeat of the left in the, uh, after May 68, uh, there was a, a, an upsurge of uh, industrial activity, especially in Britain, uh, in the early 70s, but also in Italy, in France, and so on. Uh, but still, I would say these were the uh, last uh, outbursts, if you like, of uh, the trade union movement. And uh, since then, although there were many strikes even during the Callaghan years, uh, just before uh, the rise of Thatcher, uh, the trade union movement was also in decline, although this was not a very evident at the moment. And uh, all these developments, uh, that is the combination of uh, the need of the system to open and liberate markets, uh, the ideological movement, uh, the neoliberal movement that has been already created, the decline of the left, the combination of these uh, uh, factors led to the uh, rise of uh, Thatcherism and uh, Reaganomics. And of course, uh, don't forget that um, Thatcher, in fact, and, uh, and Reagan later, uh, exploited one of the contradictions, I would say, of May 68. 
because uh, in May 68, and uh, I took part and I know very well what were the trends, uh, the main demands of the uh, May 68 movement were against any kind of hierarchy and against any kind of power. That included the state power as well as the power of the market. In other words, uh, the main slogan were fight the fight capitalism and fight uh, uh, state uh, autocracy and so on. Um, the neoliberal movement exploited exactly one of those trends, the trend against the state. And of course, <laughs> didn't say a word about market because the market was the main uh, force that they wanted to expand. And uh, therefore, um, even from the left's point of view, we can see that how the neoliberals have exploited the trends even within the left to attack the state and uh, create the neoliberal kind of economy that we see today. Uh, so it's a combination of factors that led to Thatcherism and uh, uh, Reaganomics, that is both subjective factors, I would say, in the sense of uh, uh, what happened to the working class movement and the uh, social movement in general, and objective factors in the sense that globalization was moving us towards this direction.